Hey, hey, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is Jagal Tuba. Welcome uh, back on my channel. I'm back with another pick a card reading for all of you. This is Eclipse edition. It's a special eclipse season that we are going to uh, witness on 1st May. If it's, it's, it's 30th April or 1st May, solar eclipse. Uh, and there is um, going to be a lunar eclipse in 15th May. Okay, so I'm talking about this reading is all about emphasizes on this uh, eclipse season. So basically, whenever we know that, whenever eclipse happened, it creates some big shifts in our life. So either it could be like personal, like your life is, a, um, your, you know, internal, your life will be changed. You will be totally a different person. You will be in a different place. It's also about your career wise, abundance, your success, you know, like it is just depend on you like where are you going and what shifts is happening for you and but whatever will happen it's happened for a reason because it's something that you can say that it whenever the eclipses happen it's like there's something that's shaken up in our life either it could be shocking and for some of you and some of you it could be going to be a good news like very um like good shock you know uh, sudden unexpected things and shifts and changes and new beginnings in our life whenever uh, you know these eclipses happen so that's why I'm doing this reading because I know that it's, it's two eclipses happening in May. Basically, what, the first is the first May, a solar eclipse and then lunar eclipse. It's going to create a big shift in our lives. So definitely, I wanted to do this reading. Like, what is shifting in your reality? What changes are coming towards you? What blessings, good news, surprise, anything that is shifting in your reality, in your 3D world? I'm not talking about in... Uh, could be if you, it's came up in the cards that if you're spiritually changing, evolving or something internally or you're going to be a different person um, than you were last year or last previous, you know, five years, ten years. So you will see the changes, right? But we will also see it's, it could be anything. Love, romantic, career, your life. What is shifting? What important events or fated events are happening that going to change and shake up your life? So we will see. OK, that's what it's all about. Uh, keep an open mind as, as I always say on my channel. It's a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. You can also book a personal reading. Everything is given in the description box. You can reach out to me if you're interested. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Please be careful from the scammers and fake people. Uh, even though in the comments box or even, um, even in the comments on this video or overall on my channel, and um on social media accounts too because i was seeing that yesterday i even though i post every day on my stories and you know on social media accounts but still people are getting falling for falling for these people they were just using my picture and there was a mobile number whatsapp number and they're saying whatsapp and she was like really you can help me you know and i was like please be careful they are you know scammers they're using my fake people they are like i i block them i report them but every day they just come from nowhere i don't know I can't stop them. So this is their karma, whatever they are doing. And this is my work that I am doing. And I'm definitely warning you every day that you can only reach out to me by authentic ways that links are given in my description box. I'm not going to claim anyone. You're going to reach out to WhatsApp, email. I don't care. I don't reach out to anyone if you're new on my channel and if you're already a subscriber. Be careful. I don't approach to anyone for anything. I don't ask anything. Okay. So let's start the reading. We have the three groups in front of you. I know people will say that this... Um, you know, the gift box is shaking. So it's, it's just because of the air. Okay, let me tell you. Let me clear you up. It's just because of the air. Because it's empty box. So let's see. Group number one is the rouse quartz. Number two is the gift, silver gift box. Number three is the dream. So choose intuitively. I'm going to meet you on your reading. I already, you know, I pre-selected some oracles card. But we will use more um, tarot and more thing if we need it. So let's start the reading, guys. Hey, group number one, if you choose this rose quartz, welcome on your reading. Let's see um, what is shifting for you in on this eclipse seasons. And um, after all, afterwards, obviously, after these eclipses happen, what sh big shifts are happening in your life? Okay, my definitely this is a timeless reading, but you can definitely can predict this reading to three to six months. Let's see now what big sh shifts are happening for you. I'm using this new Menology Oracles card. We have a new moon in Aquarius, open up to change. Yeah, so you could have a Aquarius moon or you could have strong Aquarius placements in your chart. So this is definitely talking about new moon. It's new beginning for you, open up to change. So there's definitely some type of a change is happening. This is what your theme is, but we will keep looking for it. The next card is we have uh, restlessness. It's look like Uranus and Aries, if I'm not wrong. Let's see, we have a main female. 
Um, we have courage. So you could be Aries, you could be Leo, you could be Aquarius, or you could be dealing with these type of signs. The next card is financial health. Yes, there's something definitely coming for you. Then we have home. Let's see now. From this we have, um, this is saying haughtiness, this peacock, and then we have the priest, oh, interesting. From this oracle's card we have the gray, endings are inevitable. Yeah, there's definitely something happening here. We have a spaceship, don't be afraid to sing. Okay, interesting. So you could be 73 plus, sorry, 37 years old or 43. This is a specific age I'm taking. Um, so if this, if this is your age, then this specific message is definitely in your reading. It's a confirmation for you. So you could be 37 years old watching this video right now or 43, uh, or 34. I'm also getting 21. Your age could be 21. Okay. Or you could be, um, now your life path number could be three, seven, four, one, two, or three, but three is coming very popping up here. You could be seeing a lot of threes. Okay. Road course is all about love. It's, it's also talk about romantic love, but it could be self-love. So you are definitely embracing your true self. You're ready for new change and you should be because this is what it's, it's this, um, this eclipses are shifting in, in your reality that you need to open up yourself for new change. Either it's in a romantic way or this is also talking about you need to take risk about financial health, improving your health. You also need to find courage and strength in yourself to take things. Yeah, you will. You will be very busy. I feel like a lot of things are changing in your life because I'm seeing with this spaceship here, this is also talking about don't be afraid to sing. So this is talking about something that you may be traveling, you're going out with your friends. Uh, you could be a Pisces or dealing with a Pisces, but this is like a friend circle, mutual friends, mutual community and getting together, uh, going with them maybe also. With this, um, for some of you, you could be studying with your friends. You know, you're planning to go somewhere with your friends and studying something, learning new course, or it's like something that you're learning, taking classes together, like as a friends, you know, meeting new people, new group of people, because this is what the Aquarius is about, community organizations, um, and also friend circle, friend groups. Um, so this is talking about, this is definitely, it's going to be a busy, busy things for you that you will meet new people or you maybe already have people so you're going to make new things with them there will be shifting here some type of uh, new changes are coming in in your reality and that's happening there's also something that you're gonna um, you need to sing maybe some of you you're a singer or you're thinking about singing so definitely this is your time go and make a move find this courage and strength and do it now we also have there's something talking about endings are inevitable and we have the ships too so there's something that you have been wasting your time for a long time but this is your time that you will understand that it's time for ending it's time that you can't stop ending right if you're um breaking up with someone or if you had to let someone go or something go you can't control them right so this is what you are going to learn how to surrender and open up yourself for new change, new beginning. Because what universe is going to offer you is like you need to embrace it. You need to accept it. We also have the priest energy. Some of you, you could be teachers, models, uh, role models, by the way. Teachers, role model. You guys are, could be inspiration for a lot of people. Um, you're going to teach some people something. Or you are a teacher. But this could be also like you could be reaching out to some people like who are priests, who are teachers, gurus, mentors, healers. Um, um, rescuers, like the people who are working with other people. So maybe this is what I'm talking about. This is what shift is happening into. Like you are going to interact with a lot of people who are going to be an inspiration for you or this is you. You are going to be an inspiration. If you're doing some type of a teaching, um, you know, teach people in any, any you know, type of um, activity th that you do. You have a craft um, and you spread your, um, you know, how to say it it's like you you share your talents your skills with other people so this is what i'm saying here that's how you're going to be um priest for people okay but you could be reaching out to someone also for help and guidance about your life about your um you know like this new beginning whatever this new beginning is that you're starting in your life we also have this heartiness peak so this peacock this is like you will be the center of attention um, especially if you are definitely going to do something and you will be also maybe in this time you will be more popular, you will, you will get attention from a lot of people. But this is also talking about you need to be humble yourself, especially if you are getting on a top. 
you know, you also need to, don't forget to be humble. That's what I'm seeing here, especially if you are a Leo here, some, for some reason I'm picking up, or you could be an Aries. You know, there's something that, um, yeah, you may be going to do some type of a charity work or we will work with this type of people, you know, in these organizations, companies, clubs, I'm seeing that. That's what's happening here. You know, I'm seeing 11,000 activities a lot. So definitely different type of groups of people, meeting new pe people, friendships, um, working with other people's organization, institutes. Either this is you, you're going back to school, learning something with your friends or other people and making new friends there. If you're thinking about to go somewhere, some of you are getting like London here, like London, you're going London or you are already living in London. Some of you, I'm also, okay, I'm so sorry. Wow, yeah. So something, it's like, it's, it's gonna <laughs> happen like this. Whatever this shift is happening. For some of you, it's unexpected and sudden. We have the home here. Uh, so some of you, I'm seeing that um, your focus will be also at your home. You could be, um, I'm seeing that you are buying a house. You're shifting a house also. This is a new beginning in your life, wherever you are shifting, wherever you're moving. So this could be talking about uh, you will make new friends there, wherever you are shifting, wherever you're going. Wherever you're buying your house or moving into, wherever you're moving into. So this could be definitely meeting new people, community, friends. This could be in a different state, city or country even. So there's definitely your focus will be there. We also have uh, financial health here. So this is what you're going to improve, but you also need to take some risk here about with this courage here, strength here, because your strength, your courage, and your own, um, how to say it's, it's like, uh, this is a test from the universe that you need to take courage and strength in some matters, obviously. Um, you need to take risk in some matters. You will also be more strong here. You will make your own important decisions, but this is talking about you need to open yourself for new beginnings, new change. Anything is possible. Don't think like if, for example, if you think that if you thought ever like, oh, I, I, it's, it's impossible that I can't go. For example, I'm, I'm giving you the example. I'm just giving you the example. For example, if you thought that I'm never going to be in London because I never thought about to go there. But now universe is maybe going to show you the opportunity like this is your time that you can manifest this. This is how this eclipse will change your perception about things. Like you can do it. Anything is possible um, in your career, in your life. So this is like a dream coming true for you. But there are also some endings here that you need to embrace it. Um, we have a main female. So you will be the main female uh, in, in your own life. And also could be someone going to treat you like this. I told you like you will be on the center of attention. You will be get popularity. You will get fame, especially if you have some type of a public persona. So either you're a girl or a guy, this is a gender free reading here. So you will be definitely the main, main female. You will be the center of the attention. You will be, you will get attention. You will get some success here. Um, this is like, this is opening for you, especially for you, obviously. We also have a restlessness with the Aries energy here. So I feel like you will travel a lot or this is talking about your busy life. Like you will be very busy at home at the same time, managing a lot of things in your life. So this is, this is the period that is, you're going to be very, very, yeah, you will be restless. So there's definitely, um, you need to focus on more um, your courage or strength. Financial health is also improving. Some of you, you could own some type of a family business. Are you going to start something that will, you know, you will keep doing it for your family, for yourself? You could be coming in a partnership with someone. Also, I'm seeing that like three people are joining, like your three friends, three partner, like three companies, something that is, is like three with a three here. People are coming together. Business partnership happening here. Are you guys are like your friends are coming together to doing something, starting something, you know, creating something your own, like pioneering something that you never did before. So let's see what's happening in your love life. Let's receive some type of a love messages from this um, love oracles card. If any love information here that we need to know. We have long distance. Yeah, I was talking about. So you maybe get into a relationship that is a long distance or you may be already in a relationship with this person. So we're going to talk. There will be a lot of talking on, on phone, on internet. Yeah, this is also talking about uh, this could be someone that who may be from a different community than you. Definitely different community than you. We have a friends first. So you will be friends first. Yeah, this could be definitely 11th house. I was picking up energy of 11th house. So maybe these eclipses are happening in your 11th house. You need to check it out. 5th Five, house and 11th house. So you will start as a friendship. You will get to know each other. Or you will meet through mutual friends and clubs and parties and organizations. Wherever you're working. Or mutual friends also. 
and then you will start something we also have a secret lover this could be someone that who is in your friends for friend circle and gonna definitely come out they're gonna tell you how do they feel this is also someone that your friend who is who's hiding their feelings or mutual friends or clubs or mutual it's like this person is, is around you already they're your secret lover and they're going to express it to you so you will be the, this person main female some of you this could be a same gender sex relationship does not have to be but yes because i'm saying every type of relationship is here yeah some of you this could be la yeah i told i told you with these endings are inevitable so in, and we have a divorce so for some of you you're cutting someone from your life because you're ready to embrace new changes in your life. You, know, you could be already get out of this relationship, like divorcing someone, shifting somewhere else. But this is a big shift that's coming into your love life also. We have a love-hate relationship. It, either this is you or the person, because I feel like this is your energy. You could be coming out of a relationship or you're cutting out someone from your life. This is toxic, but I feel it's a marriage here that you're definitely, uh, you may be already divorced or you are going through a divorce or you will divorce someone. Because you really want something new and fresh in your life. We also have a love and hate relationship with someone. You could be dealing with someone that you have a love and hate relationship. Especially if it's a long distance. We also have a married with a children. Yeah, so some of you, you could be dealing with someone that they have children already. They could be divorced or they're going through it. And you will come together. Or this is you, you, are, you, are, you have children. Does not have to be. Even though if you're single here, you will marry to this person, whoever this person is coming into your life. Could be a new person. You will have babies with this person. Especially if you will be the you will be the main female, don't worry, in your love life. You will you will have all the attention. The next card is slow and steady. Yeah, if this is a new relationship that's starting for you, you're gonna go slow and steady, especially if it's a long distance getting to know each other, or you will be friends first. Um, or this person is already your friend. So you could be gonna start slow and steady. We also have an office affair. So some of you, this is happening in an office, in a work situation. I was talking about, again, already 11,000 energy here. So there's some type of a fire going on here. So let's see anything else that we need to know about from Tarot. And then I'm done your reading. Anything else that group number one need to know? What's shifting for them in this, in their, in their reality? We have a six of cups. Uh, yeah, definitely someone coming from the past. This could be X person that's ex-husband or wife too like wanting to reconcile but this is talking about someone from your past it could be friend yeah again someone from your past or someone that you had a love and hate relationship with yeah this is someone that you already know like a friend acquaintances a lover ex-friend ex i don't know but there's someone coming from the past like you know this person with the six of cups and it's like a rekindled flame here i'm not saying this is someone that you're gonna it's not X. I'm not seeing breakup here. I, I feel like you know this person. As a friend, as a mutual friend, it's like an old friend, crush, like someone that you know already. And now when you are divorcing, are you leaving the relationship behind? Or this person coming out of a divorce and now they want to be with you because now they're free to date you, to be in a relationship with you. That's what I'm seeing here. But Six of Cups also talking about you will connect your, with your inner child, with this Rose Quartz too, self-love energy here. If, if you already have children, you will focus on your children with the Three of Swords, yes. So this was uh, someone maybe in a third party. There was a children involved here. So that's what I'm seeing here. Yeah. So some of you, you will be worried about your children. I see that, because especially if you have children, obviously, and you're going through a divorce or separation. You will definitely will be worried about your children. We have a Page of Swords. Some of you, I told you, like you're getting in from, you're getting, yeah, we have the Hierophant too. And we have the two of swords energy. So you could be um, a Taurus watching this video right now. You could be an air sign, definitely Gemini, Libra, Aquarius are dealing with it. We have a Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, um, I don't want to repeat it, Leo. Uh, could be Capricorn for some of you, you or them. Yeah, so I feel like, look at this, becoming single with the nine of pentacles here, single parent. Or you could be already a single parent. But this is you, if you're single here, you don't have children. Because everyone watch on my channel. Don't piss off, okay? And don't piss me off with your comments because everybody every type of person watch reading so i have to tell them so this could be that's why i told them so they can they can um claim it because this message is for them maybe so i'm seeing that um a lot of you this is your focus is, is definitely being independent focus on your money your finances your home you could be have children so you will focus on that some of you, you're definitely retreating from the past. There's something that you need to let go. I know it's hard, it's difficult, but you have to. Because, again, they're saying endings are inevitable, like you can't control them. 
So there is some shift happening also like endings, toxic relationship or karmic partners and you are, you're freeing yourself from something or you need to. We also have a page of swords here. Some of you, you your ex will come back to you. They will talk to you because we will also face Mercury retrograde in May. So there could be someone who's coming back from the past, want to talk to you, want to have a conversation with you. This could be an old fling, lover, friend, someone that you definitely had some type of um, conflict with, break up with, um, you know, some type of love and hate type of relationship with. We also have the tower here and page of swords. So some of you, you're definitely getting into a new degree, course, learning new things, learning new skill. So this will be your focus in, are you already have your business? So maybe you will gonna you know, do something different, learn something new and different that gonna add in your um, work. But we also have a Hierophant, so it could be, this is getting some type of a position to you, because I was talking about priest and the Hierophant. You could be reaching out to someone who can help you, or you are dealing with someone who is a teacher or priest or mentor and guide and guru. We have a two of swords, so there will be some type of a confusion and, you know, uncertainty about some things, but you will get some type of a clarity. But at the end of the day, your focus will be on you and on your life. That's what you're improving. And there are some things that you need to prepare yourself that you can't control. Like if, if something is ending, you can't control. If something is entering in your life, also you need to open yourself for new change and new beginning. You know, that's the biggest message for this pile. I'm going to see you later. Bye. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Group number two, the people who choose this beautiful silver gift box. This is an empty box and this is shaking up because of the air. Again, I have to say it. So I have to definitely do something for this. So it cannot, you know, shake up like this. Okay. I hope it's not. Wait a minute. The table is too far. Okay. Yeah. So you can see it now. Let's see. Um, what's shifting for you in, in, in this eclipse season? What's happening in your reality? We have a new moon in Sagittarius. Focus on the positive. So you could have moon in Sagittarius or you could be a Sagittarius person. Um, you maybe have a very strong uh, Sagittarius uh, stellium in your chart. I'm getting. Yeah, you could have a Sagittarius stellium. Like a very, um, there's something about your birth chart is, is about Sagittarius is screaming to me. I don't know, but yes. The next card is Mars in Sagittarius. Wow. <laughs> Again, Mars in Sagittarius. We have a moon in Sagittarius. You maybe have a moon in Sagittarius or Mars in Sagittarius. We have a domination. Oh my God. Please, please. Let's see. We have a courtship interesting okay i'm already seeing something you could be muslim you could be dealing with christian or you are a christian and you're dealing with a muslim this is a specific message for someone yes you guys are definitely it's like this is a specific message for those people oh my god it's something i don't know it's it's just yeah muslim and christian i'm getting yeah there's something muslim and christian couple here our partnership i don't know we have a dreams yeah so again, something the moon is coming. Moon is standing out here. So you may be very int intuitive, psychic, healer, empath. You guys are witches. I don't know what you guys do. We have a commitment. Oh, my God. I can't make this up because things are definitely um, already aligning with your, uh, <laughs> with your reading. We have a travel. Yeah. So this is also I'm getting like astro travel. We have a closure. Yeah. From this oracle's card, we have the sun. Paint the sun back into your sky. We also have number 11. Very, very um, interesting reading. The next card is 25, the mural. Be your own first priority. Here you go. The next is the thought. Hmm. And then we have thief. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Yeah, I'm also getting Scorpio here, Pisces and Cancer vibe. Either this is you or but you definitely have a strong Sagittarius placement in your chart. Now, it could be possible that you have a moon in Sagittarius or Mars in Sagittarius or the person that you're dealing with, they have a strong, strong, strong placement, that, uh, Sagittarius placements. Now, Sagittarius, we know that is a rule of the ninth house, you know, and it's also, um, you know, it's a ninth house, ninth house ruled by Sagittarius, by the way. And then we have um, Sagittarius ruled by, you know, Jupiter ruled by Sagittarius and Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter. So there's something with Jupiter here, obviously. And now with Moon and Jupiter is conjunct here. So there's something happening in your birth chart. I don't know, it's definitely different for different people, but I love to talk about astrology because I am into it. Because um, So you can also check it out by your own um, birth chart if you have this much um, you know, knowledge about it. 
Um, so there's something happening with this Jupiter Moon conjunction here. Like you are going to be more spiritual, more psychic. You need to pay attention to your dreams here, honey. Yes, because I'm getting, I'm getting like there's something that you need to pay attention to your dreams here. You are already dreaming about something, and universe is guiding you like through your dreams. Like it's it's about to happen. It's coming. It's like manifestations is coming. You just need to keep moving, keep pushing yourself. Okay. Uh, I'm also seeing this closure here. You are going to have a closure with someone. Now, I don't know if this is a new person. We will see from the tarot here. But you are definitely going to be in a relationship with someone, with a courtship here. There is someone you're already seeing in your dreams. I feel like you're getting the dreams about this person. You know that in, in, in dreams, you're already with this person, like dating them, kissing them, maybe sexually interacted with this person. Maybe you're living together with this person. You're already married to this person in a dream. But there's something that you already dreamed about this person. And now it's, it's becoming into reality. It's coming into reality and you're going to see it. So this is like definitely a big shift for you from astral world because you have the travel. When I saw the travel, I was like, wow. For me, because it's a moon here, and we have a lot of moons here. Moon here is like a big moon here, full moon. And we also have the crescent moon, and then we have the moon and star. There's a lot of moon energy here. So you are definitely, guys, are psychic, healer. You guys could be very religious people. You guys are very empath, spiritual. You definitely have a connection with the divine. Everyone has it. But you have some, diff it's like a very special connection with the, with the spirit, with the divine, with your angels, uh, with your ancestors. So I feel like they are definitely always watching you, keeping an eye on you, protecting you and guiding you uh, through, this is also travel here. So I was talking about astro travel. So you maybe you have this tendency to do astro travel. Like you can see, predict the things that are about to happen, like a future. You could be a fortune teller. You guys are definitely uh, psychic. It's definitely very, it's, it's clear ones. So you could be a clear one. So okay, like something that you already can predict and you can see it's happening, but you're already astro travel. Like you can see things in, in your dreams happening and it's about to happen. You already saw something in your dreams and it's about to happen. Okay. Now we also have a travel. So you may be traveling somewhere. It could be some religious, um, again, because I'm getting like some type of a spiritual thing, the religious thing. So you could be getting some type of travel. You're going somewhere because it's talking about uh, when eclipse will happen afterward, after three to six months, what will happen? Because the shift will happen for you, you know, ne uh, until the next eclipse happen, right? So there is something that in next three to six months you're traveling and you will be maybe on a, some type of a holy places, spiritual places, um, spiritual things. You will do something. You will travel a lot of things. You will read maybe some type of other cultures and religions because it's all about emphasizing here is a ninth house energy that is Sagittarius, right? You could be learning. It's like a higher learning connecting with a lot of people so you could already a spiritual person is just like me especially if you are a tarot reader intuitive psychic healer light worker you have interaction with a lot of people you know uh, like different cultures because ninth house is all about different culture religion different languages um, experiencing different things you know either you're traveling there or you're talking to those people they could be traveling to you but this is you also I feel like you will travel you will travel definitely. You will travel abroad because ninth house is in a different country. It's a different, per different, different background, different community than you. And I was talking about like if you're in a Muslim country, you will be in a Christian country, or anywhere in a in a, in a English country or something, or uh, a European country. I don't want to put the uh, things here to make things complicated, and don't be offensive. Okay, I'm just saying things. Um, and others of you, you may be from moving from someone, some other countries. You could be dealing with someone that who is living in a different country and different background because again i'm seeing something ninth house different background culture religion they definitely have a different religion than you right but you have to go there because this is what your purpose is in this lifetime we also have the closure here so you may be going to close a chapter with someone but sometimes close closure doesn't mean that it's it's it's, it's um how to say it? It's just, it's ending. Maybe you, you're going to find the closure with this person and finally you will talk to each other. It's a heart to heart conversation happening with someone. Definitely. I'm seeing with a courtship here. This is someone that you're going to date. Are you already dating this person currently when you're watching this video? Okay. Are you dreaming about this person to date them? Like you, you have a dream to date this person and you already saw this person dating into a dream and your dream is coming true. There's a commitment here. Like you can be with this person on a commitment level. This can go long-term partnership, I'm telling you. Don't be afraid if it's a long distance. Don't be afraid, you know, like if it's a different culture than you know. You're mean to do this in this lifetime. Maybe this is what your purpose is. 
in this lifetime because ninth houses also talk about your higher learning your 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 education your mean to mean to experience this in this lifetime right we also have commitment so there's a birds could be very specific messages here i'm getting from the birds here okay it's a black and white again so there's definitely commitment here like this person gonna be with you like they're thinking about you we have the thoughts here and we also have the scorpio here skull here so this person could be older than you yeah, this person could be older than you or you could be older than this person. But there's an age gap here. There's also maybe two people here maybe want to be with you. But I feel like you maybe have a choice between two people. Because I'm seeing that there's someone that you definitely maybe, maybe close the chapter with someone and you will choose someone new. That is also a possibility here. So let me tell you. Okay, so you could be 25 years old watching this video or you could be 49. Or this person's age could be right now like this. Um, we also have number 11 is very significant here, very, very important here. One, one, it's a divine counterpart number here. One, one, when we add it, it's two. So it's mean coming together. But this is also you, you're aligning with your soul purpose because you have the sun. Paint the sun back into your sky. You could be a painter, you could be an artist, or this person could be. But whatever the case is, you're going to be happy because I'm seeing sun and moon here. You are yin and yang to each other. We also have the, uh, another thing here, you, you could have a cat, or you could be a cat lover, because I'm also seeing there's something like a building here. So this could be something that you could be going back to a school or some type of an institute. Um, again, it's something different here, um, like different culture. You may be going for study, you know, you could be going for um, like a job, learning something, experiencing something. Definitely it's something different from you. And this is also like, um, this person could be from a different country. Yeah, definitely, or you could be. It's so definitely you are going somewhere abroad. It's a different country you're experiencing for your study, education, love, career, whatever you're doing. Uh, you could be traveling maybe just, uh, just to visit their places. Be your own first uh, priority. This is what you need to do. Keep working whatever you are doing. Keep painting your life. Um, keep focusing on your life. The more you will be positive and stay positive, the things will come for you because it's coming. There's someone who's definitely thinking about you with the thoughts here. And this person is holding this scroll here. So they definitely want to tell you something, but they maybe have some type of uh, anxiety about it, like how to approach you, how to come. Yeah, this could be something that with this thief here, like I'm not seeing this is someone, they could be running, coming back to you. They could be, yeah, there's someone coming back to you from the past. But let me tell you, this is not your past person that who you're going to date and be in a commitment relationship with. Because you're going to have with this thief with a closure. You're going to have a closure with someone that you had a past with. And this person was thief. When I'm saying thief, they were a runner, right? They, 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 they stole your heart. Yeah, this person is a thief. They, they, they were a runner and now they're coming back. Because I'm getting this is like you will have a closure with this person. And there is someone who's thinking about to have a family with you, relationship with you, want to date you, want to marry you, all that stuff. But this person is also from a different country. Like you, they both could be different people. Like you could be dealing with someone that who's younger and there's another older person here. So you made to hack a twice here. We also have a domination here. Yes. So there is some type of dominance here. If this is the same person, this person may be run away from you because of like they're wanting to dominate you or they're wanting to, you know, maybe they're, they have a, because of they have different culture. So they were afraid that people will going to judge them or people will not accept you or something. But there is a focus on the positive here. There's definitely some new positivity, new changes coming in your life. You're also going to be more uh, creative, more artistic. You're going to explore your thing. You're going to share your things and talent with the people. Just do whatever makes you happy, I'm telling you, for this file especially. Because there is Jupiter and Neptune conjunct here. It's like you are, you are more creative right now. You can show your talent to the wall. Be positive. Have faith on yourself. Trust your abilities. Trust your skills. Okay? Um, this is also like... Um, yeah, you're going to show your, yourself something. There's some type of event, festival, and uh, I'm getting um, what, what they call exhibition. There's some type of exhibition here and you, that you will be there. Or you are, it's like your, your own talent, your own skills are definitely like you're exhibiting to the world, like you're showing to the world. Yeah, and you're really proud of it. You need to, especially if you're an artist, painter, traveler, guide, psychic. This is definitely someone who want to date you. Now, let's see. Let's see what's happening in your love life. I'm interesting. We have the on guard. Yeah. So this is someone who is on the guard. They will take their time to let their guards down to, to, to make to approach you. 
this person want to make sure that you they can trust you especially if this is a long distance connection here yeah whoever this person is they maybe have some issues trust issues With the Mars in Sagittarius, this person could be a traveler, adventurer. This person is, could be very dominant, very masculine person. They could be very passionate, very exciting, sexy, hot, sensual person. They could be in a military for some of you. Maybe that's why this person definitely is masculine, whoever they are. Masculine is very masculine and feminine is very feminine in this reading I'm seeing here. Yin and yang energy. Yeah, we have an unspoken love. Yeah. So this person maybe never expressed their love to you. And now this thief is coming back. They stole your heart. They maybe led you on for some of you. They make you believe that they are into you, but they, this person never make the move for some of you. Yeah, they're they are always on the God. Always on the God. Hmm, but this love is transforming. This love will be lovely, deeply transformational for something new and powerful to emerge. Yes, butterflies, transformation. So I feel like this person is transformed, changed. Either they're coming back and they will give you everything that you want. That's how you're going to know. This person want to date you and want to offer you something serious. Like they're serious. They don't care about now other people. Especially if this is that person. But I'm strongly feeling there's another scenario here that you're closing a chapter with someone and you're starting a new relationship with someone new. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. I'm strongly feeling there's a two group of people here. But don't no, don't worry. Just keep doing whatever you're doing. And stay positive about your love life. We have a new romance. I told you. <laughs> I told you. New romance is here. And we have the moon again. Oh my God. Maybe you have a moon uh, tattoos or there's something with your moon. Like you, maybe your moons are conjunct. Something happening on a new moon, full moon, I don't know, on this eclipse, maybe lunar, lunar eclipse, something happening on this lunar eclipse. Yeah, we have a new love will find its way to you. There is an opportunity to experience a positive new beginning. Yes, there's definitely a new beginning in love and romance here for a lot of you. We also have mature, I told you, I love this reading. It's a confirmation here. Mature relationship, yeah. It is going to be a very adult relationship, mature relationship. Whether you are older or not, this union will be forced on companionship, sport, dependability, and love. This is what we want, right? This is what we always talk about. Like, you should be with someone that who is responsible and who is uh, dependable, reliable. Like, they're not playing games with you. That's how you're going to know about with this person. Wow, you deserve it. It's definitely a gift for you. It's definitely a gift. Things are changing for you. But this is like someone that who's on the guard. They never tell you their feelings, but they will. Or this is someone that who is your secret admirer. They're definitely checking you up. We have a friends first. Yeah, you will be friends first or getting to know each other. You will also meet each, through mutual friends maybe for some of you. Or maybe online dating because it's definitely someone from different from you. We have a fun connection. Yes, you will have a lot of fun talking, movies. Um, you will go out and have fun with each other. Enjoy the adventure. Yeah, you will be adventurous. You will maybe travel together also somewhere. Uh, wish coming true. Yeah, look at this. Someone will possess all the qualities you ever wanted in a partner. A dream come true. I told you. There's something is coming in your dreams. We also have a dreams. Dreams. And we also have a dream. Wish come true. So it's like your wish partner, your dream partner. Yeah, fast lane. So some of you, this person, maybe uh, something feels different about this love and you are not afraid to charge ahead. Hopefully this love will last. So this person may be born into a horse year. Yeah. So this maybe start as a fast, like you will get to know each other and then friends and lovers, something like that. Or maybe this is someone that you already had, a, you know, very friends and then lovers and then you become friends and this person run away from you and now coming back. I don't know, but there's definitely someone coming from the past, but I'm strongly feeling 90% of you, this is a new love. You will end up with a past person. You're not going to choose that person. But it could be if they're going to offer you something serious, then why not? Yeah, this is like a fast lane. Like you will just mend with each other, compliment each other. You're mean to be together. So this is like a wish coming true and we also have a dream. So I feel like your all dreams are coming true into reality. Either it's about career, success, and also it's a love life. You will have a lot of fun. If you, are, you had a very um, bad relationship experience in the past, you will have a lot of fun with this person. It's very, very funny and very um, good energy I'm feeling about this relationship, to be honest. Let's see now anything else that we need to know from the tarot. What's shifting in your reality? You will maybe travel to see this person or you will travel when you will travel into a different country. Maybe then you will meet this new romance or new person. 
We also have like you will to travel together also. We have a lot of fun, experience different culture together. Now let's see from the tarot. We have Ace of Swords, yeah. Truth is coming out, clarity. If you have a choice between people, you will know. There's definitely universe will guide you. Through dreams, through signs, through symbols like you need to do whatever you want to do. This person maybe have a piercing or this is you. You have a piercing on your face. We have an Ace of Swords. It's definitely talk about Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's something with the infinity symbol. This, there's something with the math here. So this person could be a mathematician or this person work with money like banking, finances, something to do with it. Two of Swords. Yeah. And also I'm seeing something to do with the law, justice. Libra. They could be Libra. Strong Libra placements in this person chart. Again, there's birds here, crows here. Birds, very, very important birds here. Um, we have a five of cups and then we have the ace of wands. Yes. So I strongly feel I will go with the new person. Ace of swords, but this, and sorry, seven of swords, judgment and for, yeah, this is someone coming back to you. Interesting. So you have a choice. Look, the people will say that, oh, I don't want to go with the past. I don't choose that person. Maybe this is your decision, right? But we were reading that who is coming, like what's happening for you. So maybe that you don't want them maybe, but this person still have a closure with you. Like they are coming back to you because they want a closure with you. So be easy on them. Be, be, be humble, be kind, be generous, be gentle with this person, be gentle, be kind. I know this person is a thief and we have the seven of swords here. Again, the thief is coming back. Someone who stole your heart, someone who hurt you, they were deceptive, they were playing the fields, they were playing the games with you, mind games with you. This is also someone who make you confused, they let you on, they give you anxiety with the two of swords. Like you never knew, you never knew how this person feels for you because it's unspoken love. But they maybe love, let you on. They give you mixed signals. They make you confused. You know, like this person never told you like what we are. This is that type of relationship I'm seeing. But there is a closure here with this person. Either it's a closure like forever or this is someone that who's coming finally and give you the clarity with the Ace of Swords. Like I am into you. Let's be together with the Four of Wands. Let's be together. Let's date. Let's be in a relationship or let's get married. I don't know. But there's something with the Four of Wands. You're coming into union with this person. You also have someone new here. Yeah, because we have the two aces on the table here and new romance here. So I'm not going to lie here. Whatever you are manifesting, whatever the dream that you're seeing, whatever your dreams are telling you, pay attention to your dreams. Because again, the eyes are closed here. Pay attention to your dreams, signs, intuition, psychic abilities. You guys are psychic and spiritual. You're going to know that who's the right person for you. And you're going to pick most of you, 90% of you is a new love. Because you're going to have a closure with the past person. Even though they're coming to tell you because we have the judgment. It's a, it's a rebirth. It's also the truth is coming out. You're releasing yourself from the past. This is you, new you. Or maybe this person is totally coming new person. Look at this all green in your energy. So maybe this person's heart chakra was closed and now they're opening up with the five of cups. Yeah, this person left you out in the cold. This person was Debbie Downer. They definitely put you in a victim mentality. But after meeting this person, your life is changed and their life is changed too. So they're coming, I feel. This person is holding on to you like they're not letting you go. There's a lot of fours here. So four is the number of stability and security. They don't want to let you go. They're still holding on to you. And they may be coming back to you because they, now they understand. They have a spark with you. They, they get the clarity like you are the one. If it's not the case, then definitely you're meeting someone new. Definitely. You maybe have a choice between two lovers, two people. Who you're going to pick, it's all up to you. It's all up to you who you're going to pick. But what I am seeing that you're going to be happy. Four of Wands. Like you, you will be happy. It's like um, some of you, this could be you. You're buying a new house too. Like you're thinking about it, planning about it. You could be shifting somewhere with a judgment here or traveling somewhere also with a judgment here again. But there's a truth is coming out and you also need to make a decision here. Yeah, this is someone who definitely, there, there's a judgment here. Like this person uh, judge you or you judge this person for some reason. It's like a judgment call here. Someone is getting their judgment call. Yeah. Because I'm seeing domination too. Like this person, you judge them or they judge you. And now they're coming back to realizing like what they, what, what they did to you. So they're coming. The thief is coming back. Um, but there's also someone here who is a new person. So you have a choice between two people or this is the same person is coming with a transformation and change and they want to be with you. But I strongly feel there is someone new here. You're, you're about to meet someone new. 
after this. So this is all up to you. I'm going to see you later. Bye. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Hello, group number three. Finally, the people who choose this dream. Welcome on your reading. Let's see. What is shifting for you in this reality? In your reality very soon? Next three to six months, whenever you will watch this reading, especially after eclipse, what big shifts or new changes are happening for you? Let's see what is the theme for you. We have a first quarter moon in Capricorn. Unleash your kind kindest self. Okay, so you could have a strong Capricorn placements in your chart, or especially Capricorn moon. The next is uh, Saturn in Leo, generosity. Yeah, interesting. Wow. Um, sorry. Then we have high honor. We have beauty. We have answers. Yeah, there's someone more. God. We have a strength. You could be definitely dealing with Leo. Strong Leo. You could be Leo and Capricorn couple or... There's a strong Leo and Capricorn in your placements are the person you're dealing with. I'm also seeing Aquarius. We have a finding. Interesting. Beautiful cards. From this article's card, we have the flower. Be honest with yourself. Wow, I love these cards. We have a confidence. It comes with time and practice. Interesting. And from this, we have the house. Look at this big ass house. Look at this. Look at this. Are you shifting in a mansion or what? The next is the young woman. Ooh. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so some of you, this is you with this young woman and house. Like you are definitely, at your young age, you will be successful and you will be shifting in a, in a big house, like in luxurious house. This could be have a like mansion. It's very luxurious house. I don't know where are you going, but yes, it's like you're shifting somewhere. And look at this all garden and this, this um, what is it called? Fountains. Oh my God. So you could be shifting in some type of a mansion, experience something. Um, you could be um, visiting someone's house, like place. Uh, this is you. You are <laughs> now just, you know, hold your breath. What I'm going to say. Trust me, what I'm going to say is just trust me, okay? You could be meeting someone that who is this much rich and wealthy. Like they have a mansion, they have a house, they have a big house, luxurious house. And they have, a, you know, like this, mount, this, this fountains and this big, big, big gardens, flowers. I don't know who you are dealing with. This person is rich and wealthy. Bitch, who is this person? Tell me. Uh, they have a brother or not? <laughs> oh my god so uh, <laughs> uh i love this 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 reading is making me happy okay I'm, I'm definitely smiling and and you know that right so um i'm not making the stuff here i'm not because we have the saturn in leo generosity this person is definitely rich and wealthy and we have a high honor and we have the house either this is you i don't know uh if which you are this much rich oh my god let me clap for you with this young lady that are men, whoever you're watching this video, I feel like you will be the first millionaire or billionaire in your family. It's like a dream coming true. That's why you choose the dream here. And we have a Capricorn and Leo. Yes. So some of you Capricorn is ruled by definitely 10th house. So this is your 10th house. After this eclipse, there's something happening in your 10th house and 5th house. And your 4th house energy. Like there's definitely some type. If, you, if your eclipses are happening on your 5th house, 10th house and in your... Um, fourth house then this reading is for you definitely confirmation but th this could be for everyone obviously whoever this pick this reading but if you're into astrology you know what i'm talking about we have a strong sun and and star here aquarius and leo energy also popping up here because i'm seeing with the strength card she has a sun behind her so this is definitely talking about wow look at this this is you you are a strong woman or man watching this video. You could have a pets. You could be animals. And look at this. It's just not pets. It's, it's just all type of pets here. All type of pets. We have these uh, little cubs. And then we have these cats. What's this? Yeah, you have every type of animals here. We also have a tree. Something with a tree here. And mask. And this, this big. Yeah, there's something shifting in your house, honey. And in your, in your environment, in your reality. You're going to be there. You will be there with the strength energy and the beauty. Yeah, this could be you. Your beauty will take you toward this person. Or this is you. You could be a model. Some of you, you could be a model. 
you could be uh, a muse you know like a brand of a muse of any brands um, you could be a model actress singer dancer like you definitely have some type of a public thing but this is like something the beauty about you okay for some of you i'm getting like this is you what's shifting for you is like you maybe people yeah you maybe come off as like very attractive very bold very strong very with the capricorn energy here you know you come off like very nice no you you come off as like a leo energy like very confident bold attractive smart genius girl or guy whoever you are man or woman so gender free reading but in reality you maybe have some type of it's a capricorn thing here like you know you have this this um restriction about yourself like you you don't see yourself as as beautiful as other people see you you feel like your 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 body is not good there's something that you feel about insecure about yourself and that is your body that is your beauty but you come off as this strength this beauty and bold yeah, there's something that is shifting in your perspective too because the person that who's coming into your life or the people because the thing that you're going to you know choose yourself people will see that how bold you are how beautiful you are how attractive you are how smart you are how strong you are with the strength and energy but in reality you maybe have restrictions about yourself you have insecurities about yourself you self critical yourself self criticize yourself and this is definitely capricorn energy here because i know you maybe have a strong capricorn um ascendant you maybe have a north node in 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 uh, in capricorn you maybe have a how to say it is venus in capricorn because your beauty is very attractive like people see that you how strong bold and attractive you are but there's something about you like you don't like about your body or you think that you're insecure about it it's not yeah you could be insecure about your body or you could be insecure about your beauty your color or something yeah again i'm seeing this is a plus size here and the way she is sitting here is also about body about your weight yeah about your weight and healthy and fitness no who cares who care who care the shit who 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 give the shit here because you are getting what every woman has a dream i don't know what you're receiving but there's something like whatever you are or the you are on the top of your game wherever you are going people just can dream to be there with the dream energy i'm also picking up here people can just only dream and you will be there so this is a blessing for you so please be grateful for what you have or what you are about to going to have in your life because there is a blessings coming look at this the answers here it's like your ancestors your guides your angels i don't know um this could be also your your grandparents your um, if you lost someone like especially your grandparents your own parents this is your ancestors guys is going to give you this blessing with these answers here so answers are coming towards you every every question that you ask from the universe that is going to give you the answer here and you will receive it we also have the answers it's like you may be seeing your ancestors your grandparents some people around you you know in your dreams also in your dreams so they're talking to you so pay attention to your dreams especially your ancestor or generational thing here look at this all birds here i'm going to show you on the especially on this card look at this all birds here people going to talk about you you will be the talk of the town and this could be a gossip this could be a rumors scandals i don't know there's something happening here that you are getting something that people can only dream about it i can't say this thing again and again i can't repeat myself i hate to repeat it but yes because again i'm seeing with this generosity here and with this answers here there's something coming from your ancestors again i'm going to show you with this this old old man and we have the old man the same this is this uh, this is coming from your ancestors from your um from your generation your grandparents this could be from your this is a karma from your past life also that you're going to receive in this in this lifetime with the saturn and leo generosity so this is your karma you will be the leader in this in this in this lifetime in this lifetime especially the people who chose it are the person that was coming into your life is a leader of a lot of people they are a leader there is a star this person could be from definitely i'm getting and the trees are very important here palm trees and trees this person is on a high honor they could be a politician they are a leader this person is a leader whoever they are they are leading people and this is this is the, your person you're going to get the answers in this person in this person yeah this person is a leader they they're definitely leader politician brave strong people courageous people this person is going to older than you 
we have a Capricorn and we have the young man, young woman here. So this is the old person. This is that person that you're going to marry. And this is, or you're going to interact with this person. This person is very, very important. Either it's romantic, platonic, friend, or someone that who's your boss, who is your teacher, who's going to help you to embrace your journey. You will be in your successful journey because of this person. So either it's, it, I am seeing it's a romantic partner because we have the young woman. You will be young and this person will be older than you. Yeah, there's something happening for you. But you, you should be kind here because this person is very generous. They will be generous with you. They will share everything. They will share their own. Maybe, maybe this person have inheritance money. Yeah, they could be have inheritance. This is definitely someone who is on a high honor, but this is also you. You are getting some type of a high honor, position, authority, you know, some type of public recognition. I don't know what you're doing, but I don't know what you mean to do in this lifetime. But there's something that you need to be grateful for what you have. Because people are going to just dream. They can just only dream and imagine to be there wherever you are going to be. You will lead a lot of people with this person or you are so a leader. This is like a strong power couple. Could be twin flames. Because I don't see any signs here. But yes, we have answers coming towards you. Your answers are coming. And this is coming from your ancestors. Your angels, your guides are guiding you. Look at this. We have the power. You have the power. Please, please be honest with yourself. You could be 17 years old watching this video right now at 23, 25. Um, for some of you, it could be 28, 30, 21, or 22. Or this person could be have this age. But you are a younger woman here. You are the younger. And you are going to do wonder here, I'm getting. This is just the start of your journey. If you're a young woman watching this video and you have a lot of dreams, you will be. Look at this. First millionaire or billionaire in your family. You will own your own house. This is a mansion. This is also like luxurious house. You're going to buy yourself or you're, you're, I told you, if you're enough, adult enough, you're going to marry this person. You're shifting in a big house. Your life is about to change meeting this person because this is going to ask power from you. Don't, don't do that because of your beauty, because think like you're not good enough. You're about your weight. You maybe have insecurities and that you need to work on your insecurities. Unleash your kindest self because you need to see that you're kind, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. There's something that this person will see in you that, yeah, you could be, you could be a model of a plus size. There's something that you are doing that out of different, like you are mean to do this thing. It's like you, you are discouraging yourself. Don't do this. Don't do this to yourself, please, because bring the confidence in your life. It comes with time and practice. Yes, you will be more confident. You will travel a lot. You will be on the stage. This person will also boost your confidence, whoever they are. Yeah, and some of you, this is like you could, you could be a photogenic, like, and people will definitely book you for your pictures, or you could be a muse, or you will be muse for this person. Like, they will love you. Like, this person will adore you. We have the finding. We have the butterflies. Yes, this is you. You need to find yourself. You could have an Aphrodite. Effort, effort hair. So you maybe don't like your hair. So there's something about your body. There's some type of a complex here that you have, insecurity you have. By the way, it's a trigger warning, okay? So don't be triggered here because I'm a reader, so I know. Um, it's nothing triggering for me So because I'm reading for a lot of people. But if it's triggering you, then maybe this message is not for you. Click off. This person going to love you the way you are. They're going to love everything about you. Whoever this is, it's very beautiful. But this is also you. You are becoming successful. Um, you will be the first one to do this thing in your family also. If you're traveling somewhere, you could be going on to some type of audition. Like you will go and um, going on some type of audition. For some of you, you could be, this is like you. You're just solo traveling. Like you never think that you will do it. But this is all about your power and confidence. That's what you need to do. It's making you more strong and with the, uh, with the strength here. You may become off as bold and strong, but people does not know that you have much insecurities. That's what you need to work on. We also have the finding. For some of you, you're going to find your soul purpose, your life purpose. You're going to know that. But this is also you. You're going to embrace yourself the way she's embracing, finding with this butterfly transformation. You're going to embrace yourself, who you really are. You don't care about other people's opinion anymore. You, you, you're not going to feel insecure about anyone. Let's see now. Yeah, this could be your photo shoot. I feel like this is your photo shoot is happening. Yeah, you're going to do a photo shoot. But this could be someone like, I'm thinking it's your marriage. 
For some of you, it's like you're getting married and your photo shoot is happening. Wow, interesting. Bitch, who are you getting married to? Tell me, okay? You maybe travel to see this person or this person travel to see you? Let's see now. We have a divorce. It's came up reverse. So this person could be right now going through a divorce or separation. Whoever you're dealing with. Yeah, this could be you also. Like you're cutting someone out from your life. You will meet someone. They're saying you will meet someone that is divorced. Yes, this is that person maybe. And possibly has children. Okay, so they could have a children already. You will have to decide if they are worth pursuing. I feel they are because we have the power and confidence. Go for it. Come on, bitch. Don't lose this opportunity because you will be, and I'm seeing the rose here. People can, this is like universe is going to give you the opportunity in front of you. People can only dream about it. Yeah, people can only dream. This opportunity is coming in your career that gonna make you, I don't know, but only thing, only thing, only thing that will discourage you, that is you. Only thing will come in your way is you. That's what I'm talking about. Be confident, be power. Be, you have this power in yourself and confident power and strength. By, by the way, this is a flower. I'm sorry. Be honest with yourself. You know that you're a leader and you're mean to be with this person, whoever they are. You, they could be a CEO, manager. I'm not saying manager, CEO. They could own the organization. They could own the company. They could be on a military, but on a high rank. This is also someone definitely have a higher position. But I'm strongly feeling this is a leader. Like they're leading community. They're leading people. They're a boss. They have a big house, luxurious house, mansion. I mean, come on. They have, I'm just seeing the fountains here. Like, I don't know how rich they are. You know, they, they have these, um, rich wealthy people that, that we will see that that arab houses you know in the arab countries especially in the arab countries like we see the house like the big house mansion bangalore you know does not have to be i'm just giving you the example that's how they live something like that because i'm seeing also the palm trees here and all that stuff i'm also seeing the desert here so they're definitely living in middle east or something you know like a saudi arabia Dubai and Qatar, something like that. I don't know. I hope I'm, <laughs> I'm taking the good names. Who cares? I don't care. We have a mature relationship. Yeah, this is definitely going. This came up in the past. This person maybe have a beard. Yeah, this is a businessman, a businesswoman. This is going to be a mature relationship between two people. This person, if you are a young woman watching this video, this person gonna cherish you. Like you will be the flower. Like I'm getting like apple of this person eye. You will be the muse for this person. And others of you, if you are, if you are the man watching this video, you're gonna treat this woman like man or woman, whoever you are interested in, is like your everything. Everything. Especially if this is a this is a man here older than you. Oh my god. Um, we have secret lover. Yeah, this person is already in love with you, but they could be going through a divorce. Are they already divorced or separated? There's a definitely status difference also right between you and this person. The relationship will be kept as a secret. Just be sure this decision is okay with both of you and not one-sided. Okay, so this person maybe want to keep it secret because of their reputation, because of their uh, culture, religion. I don't know what, what the shit this is all about. So it's all up to you. If you want to keep it secret, this could be same gender sex relationship or could be anything. Yeah, we have a protected by love. This person going to cherish you. Look at this, how this man is watching this woman. Again, there's something like this person going to love you, adore you and accept you, embrace you who you really are. This person is also going to boost your confidence. Your partner will be very protected of you. Feeling an obligation to take care of you. Just be sure it's not possessive. Yeah, they, they could be possessive. They could be. Because I'm getting now. They could have a strong Leo and Capricorn placements in their chart. But definitely, we have the Saturn and Leo in general state. This person is rich. They have a money. And we have the high rank, definitely. Let's see. This is what's happening. This is shifting in your life. This is what's shifting. Be strong. Be strong. Be, be strong and confident. Um, we have a divine timing. Yeah, it's the just matter of the divine timing that you will be together. If you don't know who I'm talking about, you're aligning this. You are manifesting this person. Are they manifesting you somewhere in the world? Obviously, you're going to bump into this person. We have a karmic love. 
you will have instant interaction with your karmic but it's not mean to last however you will learn big lessons in love some of you you may be right now going through a separation or divorce with karmic partner or you will leave someone behind are they still dealing with their karmic because they're, they're still there maybe that's why we have a common lot union but this came up reverse like that so definitely it's not going to be um, you may have a live in a relationship that is bonded, bounded by love without the matrimonial rules this came up reverse so i feel like whatever type of relationship you want with this person they're okay whatever you want you need to definitely tell this person what do you want in a relationship and what type of relationship you want obviously we also have smooth sailing uh, we have a new love interest will be easy to get to know smooth and steady relax and see where the good goes yeah this is like just get to know each other we also have a fun connection you will have a lot of fun with each other you will share, share different things because you will be totally opposite from each other this is also going to be a manic love yeah you will bring the beast in each other i'm getting this is going to be a very sexy uh sensual type of relationship obviously this person will be very possessive with you sexually attractive to you sensually attractive to you now let's see anything else that we need to know you will meet this person maybe in a clubs and parties too or you will go with this person yeah we have a three of swords here so some of you you could be breaking you could be heartbreaking and mourning and learning right now crying over someone but universe has a different thing for you come on your dream is coming true this can be only a dream for some people but you're this is like you have there's something that your ancestors are your karma is giving you this it's like a reward from the universe Yeah, we have the Hierophant. Some of you, this person, as I told you, like they could be already married or going through a divorce. Yeah, but things are changing. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, it's fated. It's destined. It's meant to be. We also have an Eight of Swords energy. Some of you, again, I told you, like, if this person come in front of you or when you will meet them, you will be like, I don't know. I'm not sure. So please work on your insecurities, your fears. Because you will think like people will judge you. This person's family will judge you. This person will not like you. Please, this is insecurities coming from you. This is just your insecurity that will come in your way. Look at this Eight of Swords. You will be stuck. Don't do this. Don't do this, bitches. You will cry forever. Cry forever if you will miss this opportunity. I'm telling you. Yeah, we have the Emperor. Okay, just enough. The Daddy is here. Definitely Daddy. This is Sugar Daddy, definitely. We have the Empress. Wow, Divine Couple. Trust me, you know that. We were doing that, right? Emperor and Empress, Divine Couple twin flames soulmates whatever you want to call i don't care we have the world so something you will also get pregnant by this person children yeah you will get pregnant you will have you will have a family with this person we have an emperor and empress this is a divine couple guys this person has a lot of options this person has a lot of options they can pick anyone they can choose anyone whoever they put the finger on but they're going to choose you why because you are blessed here, bitch, okay? Because there's something about you that your ancestors are helping you. So this could be Aries, Taurus, Libra, Capricorn, Scorpio energy here, Sagittarius, Taurus again, very strong Taurus. This person has a strong values, culture, religion, uh, definitely with the Hierophant here. But right now they could be stuck in their own marriage and they're not happy. They could be coming out of a marriage, we know that. They are in a third party right now, if you know who I'm talking about. Or they're coming out of a marriage they're divorced okay or this is you you're getting a divorce that's why you can't be with this person right now because things are not changing but with the wheel here wheel of fortune you will be remember i told you you will be top of your game but with the hierophant and wheel of fortune this is also talking about you like you will be on a higher position you will be the top of your game look at this completing the ladder of your success here climbing the ladder of your success here so you will be successful you're definitely on the right path whatever you're doing you will have a lot of options you will you will have a lot of opportunities possibilities that is coming for you potentials for you so maybe the, you will be confused maybe you have a lot of potentials partner so who you're gonna pick it's definitely or this person have it but who cares with the eight of swords here some of you this is going to happen unexpectedly like you have no idea no idea it's, it's like come from nowhere and it will hit you like this with the tower you'll be like what that, yeah so your life is about to change you will it's, it's, it's gonna change it's gonna change forever whatever this is happening in your life 
So it's a big shift for you with the emperor and empress. You're coming together. You could be becoming, becoming parents, especially if you're watching this video as a marriage couple. You are married already. Are you with your partner, like your boyfriend or girlfriend? So you could be getting pregnant. You could be becoming father and mother. You could be moving towards a commitment, next level of relationship. And others of you, this is talking about you. Like you're meeting someone, the, the love of your life, divine counterpart, your twin flame coming together. It's a real twin flame, definitely. Because you will be together, fated and destined to be together. You maybe have a same religion, but you live maybe different places. Different background, different status. And this is definitely someone who's going to see. They could, you could be black and white couple too. Again, this person is your older than you and you look younger here. So it doesn't matter. Feminine is younger here. Masculine is very masculine. They're older. So this can only be a dream, but this is you. This is your dream is coming true. And you will be the only person will come in your way. Don't think anything about anyone. Just be honest with yourself. Just do whatever makes you happy. This is your life, not people. Okay? Don't come here. Don't come here. I'm going to sue you if you're going to do this thing to anyone, to your life. Because you, you deserve this. This is what you, your ancestors or your angels or God is giving you a blessing in the form of this. Just don't run it. Don't run it. Okay? So that's your reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye. God bless you all.